Hey, let's take a break from cooking and hop on a road trip with me to Rhode Island. After four whole hours of driving, we had lunch at the Shanty in Warwick with our newest little addition. We were starving and made some unhealthy choices, but that's what vacations are for, right? It's a rice on vacation. That's a lot of fries. <laughs> it was still fairly warm out, so we dined outdoors given the pandemic is still ongoing. I enjoyed my go to brunch order, Eggs Benedict, but this one was over crabs. Goodbye now. Gonna see you later. Later? I see you again. Then we checked into our hotel, which we got very lucky with. Oh, right here. Ooh. Hey. Hardwood floors. <gasps> what is this? It's so open. Oh, it's a big room. Whoa! It was on the lobby and includes two queen size beds. It was spacious, clean, and with hardwood floors. The vanity was wide enough for me to have my own station to do some, well, mom stuff. We then enjoyed a small beach nearby. And some ice cold lemonade slush from Dell's lemonade truck. What are you having there? Um, this is lemonade. Uh huh. This is Dell's lemonade truck. And I got the watermelon. And also, we got lemonade. Too. Yeah, that's right. We toured around town a bit, then had some flatbread pizza for dinner from Cork and Rye. The next day, we went to Union and Maine for brunch, and all I'm gonna say is no comments. We spent lots of time in the pool this trip because my older daughter loves water. Then we went back to our hotels, washed up, and had some ramen from Ibizu. The next morning, we checked out from our hotel in Warwick and are off to the second leg to our trip in Middletown, Rhode Island. Huh? You know what you want? I'm gonna get a croissant. We made a stop at the Madrid European Bakery for a quick bite. That's the same thing, sweetie. Bunch of pastries from Madrid Bakery and Patisserie. Mm -hmm. and got myself a cappuccino as usual. And my daughter got herself some chocolate pastry that she's excited about. You're washing your hands so you can eat it. And mommy got too much stuff because I couldn't resist. Let's check out what's in here. Yeah. Let me take yes, you now. I'm going to drive to the gas station. Okay. All right, let's open it. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, it's straw. Yeah, it's right here. Let me see. Wait, make sure it doesn't fall everywhere, okay? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's something. Yeah, it's not a cupcake. I think it's a cream puff. Eat it. Show them. Show them. Show them. Show them. I got an almond croissant and two butter croissants. I see, I see, I see. Look, it is. Whoa. Whoa. This is the one mommy got for herself. Haven't had an almond croissant for a while. You want to show them croissant? Here, tell them what this is. This is regular croissant. And I like regular croissant and the butter inside. So it tastes 
really yummy though. I should probably let my daughter do all the talking next time, but for now, please visit this bakery because their pastries are bomb. Okay, we're all done with the croissants, and now we are going to share the last item that I bought, which is a Palmer cookie. Whoa! You want this part? So you guys can see how big this cookie is. I will measure it against my head. <laughs> we promised our daughter we'd take her to the Providence Children's Museum. She's like, I want to get out. <laughs> Poor little baby wanted to come out and play, but maybe in a few years, sweetie. Yeah, you look so high. <laughs> Now we're off to the Mooring Seafood Kitchen and Bar in Newport for lunch. A mocktail? Yeah. Okay, I'll let you try. Good vacation. All right, cheers. Love everybody. Got myself a mocktail, a delicious lobster roll with Caesar salad, butter pasta for my daughter, and a burger with size salad for Steve. I highly recommend the Mooring. The food was delicious and service was impeccable. I want daddy. daddy eat the strawberries. You don't like strawberries? How do you not like strawberries? You always like strawberries. Whoa, cool it's pretty big. After lunch and touring Newport, we checked into our second hotel in Middletown. Surprisingly, it really resembled our first one and was just as spacious. This was a much needed trip after my C-section and being cooped up for several months. But after a few days, we were already missing Vietnamese food. Thank goodness we found Sunrise and ordered some boon and pho. Today is the last day of our vacation and we are having breakfast at the hotel. Then we're gonna drive straight to Connecticut and back home. Check out what our breakfast looks like. Yeah, as you can see, this hotel breakfast didn't look nearly as good as other dishes we've ordered during our trip. But we gotta eat. Bye, hotel. I'll see you next day. Next hotel, next vacation. We'll miss you. We will miss you for the hotel. Bye, Bye Rhode Island. After we arrived in Connecticut, Steve surprised me with a customizable massage at a highly rated massage parlor. Surprising me like this is a pretty rare occasion, but these sweet gestures will never be forgotten. Nor will the deep tissue massage I received, because it was wonderful and loosened up the knots I gained since pregnancy. What? Wow, let me see. Nice! After the massage, we dined at Engine Room in Mystic. Wasn't our first choice, but this was the next best option. Cheers! Oh my lord. <laughs> Wings, yep. Chicken tenders right over here. Oh, that's one half. Oh, awesome. Thank you. For sure. Thanks for uh, splitting it. You're welcome. Nice right? Always a pleasure. Thank you. Let's open this. Dun, 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 dun. You ready to look at the muscles? Woo! Yummy. No, they split it for us. 
Did Daddy just surprise us with one more night in yeah. the hotel in Connecticut? <gasps> Thank you, Daddy. I love you. Love you. Wow, Steve was on a road this trip, surprising me with a massage followed by another night's stay at a hotel in Mystic. If I would have known, I would have packed an extra underwear. We're going to Sif Bake Shop in Mystic, Connecticut, and we're so excited. We're at Sif Bake Shop. So I wanted to stop by Sif Bake Shop the first and last time I went to Mystic, but didn't get a chance to. Now that I'm here, I'm so overwhelmed. This is Steve's everything croissant and my cheese and guava danish. Which one are you getting? Chocolate, right? And this Stella's funfetti, right? Let's get the passion fruit for daddy. Passion fruit? Passion fruit's for daddy. And then mommy's gonna get this coconut, okay? The coconut dad. Yeah. Try out this, what is it called? Stella's Funfetti Macaroon. Let me get that for you. My daughter is definitely a foodie like her mama. There is no doubt about it. Jumpy homemade. Jumpy And this man right here who's wearing his sunglasses over his prescription glasses. Thanks for all the surprises this trip. Please keep them coming. We love you, Daddy. And as for you guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and thanks for watching.